all right if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up you share your thoughts in the comments below and share <sighs> i wish i was kidding i uh yeah i was honestly gonna skip april but no no i'm not gonna do that it's not what i intended it's not what the plan of this whole year was to do but uh yeah i'm glad it's done i'm really over april <laughs> um there were highs and lows so i i truly can't complain i'm being a little dramatic at the same time there was a lot of change and things that i just needed to go through and i believe this is now up and up let's say that um yeah for april yeah there was various highs and just you know i got to see a couple movies with friends i saw a D, D movie i saw super mario brothers great movies and really fun and really uh great opportunities for game adaptations they really performed well in the box office but uh yeah, it was a really fun time to see those movies if you haven't seen those movies, if they're still in theaters. I know Super Mario Brothers is, but D&D, um, &D, definitely check it out. It was really fun, very entertaining. That was definitely a high. I had my first uh, girls' night out in a while, and it was really nice. I got to meet up with a lot of other ladies. We went to a wine tasting, went to a comedy show. And we really just got to, you know, enjoy each other's time, and it was really fun, and I really appreciated the the trading of energy where it was just very peaceful everyone was so uh chilling down to earth and getting to know everybody it was a really great experience and i'm excited for more things to come with them because they're really cool we're part of a group chat and just hearing all the things that they say day to day is really funny but it's also just nice to have because it's you know it's community which is something i've been saying for a very long time and it's really cool to to come across that so i'm very grateful for that that's certainly a high as well as just meeting other people who are also like-minded as me i was able to meet a couple other women in a spiritual sense of just being able to pray more you know and i think that's been something that's been able to keep me a lot mentally just because like the biggest low i have that literally was just that it was just like i just had a lot of energy draining experiences that just weren't really like you know positive it's just energy draining it just leaves you depleted it leaves you very fatigued and with um these women i've been able to really just kind of build off of my my faith and strengthen and and further ground myself in that which has been really relieving and so doing prayer more and you know on my uh, certain social medias on my uh, facebook i do that i try to do every day um just i put prayer requests out you know that was something i wanted to improve on was praying so i figured by getting better at prayer uh starting by praying for others you know uh, i figured you know i've prayed for myself many times but i i feel like the real practice is when you can intercede for somebody else and that was just a challenge that I'm taking and I'm just dedicating to doing every day at noon. And so, you know, if there's something that comes across or something that troubles you, you know, you can put it in the comments below and um, I'll pray for you. And that's just kind of been a great way for me to practice and improve in my, in my own faith. So um, that has been a great high and it's been great, re great relief for me to just be able to do that and, and do that for others you know because we're all trying to get somewhere we all have somewhere we want to go it's, it's only fair that we should help each other in that in this journey in this path in this new chapter of healing i think that's just been that's just been my time it's been my quiet time it's been my opportunity to really strengthen that so i have no distractions and i just am able to focus on the task at hand so uh i i definitely consider that a high yeah i mean that was that's truly the biggest point of it more spiritual commitments and just making sure that i can be able to just grow in all senses and i figured by that one being a foundation if i was to further and deepen my um commitments in that sense everything else would just kind of come into place and so that I'm, I'm extraordinarily grateful for 
It's been uh, an amazing time just to be relieved and just feel peace fall over you. And I wish that for everybody. And so I'm curious to say how this month kind of went for you guys or, you know, for April, how did it go? And, you know, let me know in the comments what exactly, how did it treat you? You know, how, how did it, you know, how did it affect you? Did it affect you for the better? Was it something you took as like a lesson, obviously, to later on improve on? You know, I would love to hear it in the comments and, and hear your thoughts. Yeah, you know, different things like, I don't know, just service and the people I've been able to meet and the cool challenges I've taken on in the this past month. It's been, it's been a really interesting ride. I cannot believe we are in May. I, I just, we're literally almost halfway through the year and I am just flabbergasted on the fact that 2023 is moving as quickly as it is. Um, <laughs> very crazy. And um, <laughs> just my setup being slightly different and um, trying to get acquainted with it and trying to get acquainted with um, this new setup, switching things up, taking on challenges again a new chapter and just going through all of my things and just really getting to the point of like essentialism of like what is it that I need and what is it that I don't need and how do I minimize that as possible I have so many boxes around me just for things to give away and it's, it's something that is interesting over years how things can just creep up on you and you can just hold on to these things and so i'm really thankful for the opportunity just to be able to clear through all of my things and just be able to be a blessing to other people and just be like here i'm just gonna give it away it has done its purpose here with me and it can go on to be a blessing to someone else i'm so grateful for this opportunity and this commitment that I've accepted to really just get back to the basics, you know, get back to the basics and just be thankful for the things that you have and get rid of everything else. Yeah, I'm, I'm really grateful for this journey. I'm excited to say exactly what the next month will hold as we will see as we're going through it now. Um, yeah, it's, it's just, it's a new chapter. It's a new time. And I can genuinely say that it's, it's something I'm excited for. So I will leave it there. I feel like I have talked about enough of, enough. Um, can I, can I do words? Can we, can we start over? Can we start over? <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys can relate. I will have the songs down in the description below. You guys let me know what songs you guys were jamming out to in April. I'll let you know mine. And um, yeah, we got this. We're going through the year. We're doing it. We're taking it one day at a time. And we're doing great. So yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. Let me know in the comments what you look forward to seeing. What are you looking forward to in the next months to come? Or what you enjoyed about April? And yeah, if you have a chance to share it, let me know. Just share it around you know let's see how um we are getting through the year so i hope you guys have an amazing may and i will see you in the next month bye <laughs>